For the city of Kansas City, Missouri alone, $195 million. Step one. COVID-19 response, make sure we can pay for vaccines, make sure we can get people safe, make sure we can responsibly reopen in Kansas City. Step two, address long-term budgetary challenges that we have incurred from this year. Jackson County gets $136 million, Clay County $48 million, the whole state of Missouri $3.5 billion. Some of it direct $1,400 checks to many tax filers, but some economists, however, think too many will get those checks. The low income people are the ones who need it the most to meet, you know, because they're struggling even when they have jobs to 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 pay their rent, to pay all their other bills, utilities and everything else. State of Kansas will get almost one point six billion. Some of the money fighting the pandemic directly, lots helping cities, counties and states recover from the COVID recession, plus long term federal spending Democrats have wanted for a while. They're making a calculation here that it's popular. This is going to be a, a big swing and that uh, that it won't hurt them um, come 2022. The midterm elections where the party in power usually loses clout. But those $1,400 checks are real and they'll probably be in the mail within a few weeks. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News.